So obviously the reason I've contacted GMP was because of these claims made by the Observer. I'll tell you specifically what he said. Um, he said he's seen um, children, disabled people and old people assaulted. By that I think he means pushing them in the back during the march. Um, he also said he's witnessed police kicking people's shins, stamping on people's feet, grabbing grabbing them around the head and punching them. They're accountable, uh, and we'll make sure they're accountable for that. But equally, it is a tactic on some occasions for people to make malicious allegations about the police officers, and we've certainly seen that on this case. Uh, in addition to the police filming it, then the protesters, I think if you've been down to the site you'll be aware that everyone seems to have a mobile phone pointing at a police officer. The challenge I'd make back is that when we have a complaint we will investigate it, but surely if there were those outrageous type of acts that we've been accused of, then it will be on film. So it will be on our film. Equally, the protesters are filming everything. So if there was that sort of activity going on, uh, I've no doubt whatsoever that they will produce some sort of footage. And, fr and from our perspective, it's very easy for people to make allegations of the most serious nature, and understandably on occasions the media will actually give them airtime. And that can be really damaging to us, because people may well believe it to some degree. Um, what we see is people making some allegations. We had one uh, suggestion that someone had broken his leg. You're right there, fella. So you're, they're taking you to the hospital now because you were pushed over by the police. Is that right? Thrown through the air by the police. Yeah. Yeah. You are, bro. You are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, what happened, mate? Push you over today. They chucked him off. Chucked him. Chucked, chucked him off. Yeah. Uh, and it Maria, and it means I was a pregnant woman. When they when they nicked a pregnant woman, yeah. yeah. So this, this is what's going on here, people. Don't what I said to you. This is what's going on here. Are you not, are you not happy with this? Are you ambulance people? <laughs> so this geezer here. This geezer here. Push over one, please. He's, he's on a walking stick. He's, he's disabled, partially disabled. They did that to get to a pregnant woman who's been arrested. Maria, you all know her. She's a beautiful, lovely woman. She's pregnant. She's got a little baby inside, and they they go in and snatch her. What is wrong with this country? What is going on, people? You got to get down here. Now that got media coverage, but then two days later, he's running up and down the road. Uh, we've had other people making serious allegations to the media, but they won't make the follow-up allegations to us because if we get the allegation we will investigate, we'll investigate it thoroughly. So if someone's claiming broken bones etc then one of the things that we'd look at is getting the medical evidence to prove it. So I am always have a degree of suspicion when people make outlandish claims about acts that if they were true would be really serious but then won't follow it up to allow an inve investigation. So if people make the allegations we'll investigate them but I would urge some caution in terms of some of the things that were alleged to have done. So do you know, have you had any formal complaints at all about brutality at the site? Well, I think brutality is a very emotive word. ...to your removal. Don't consent to your 
Restraint. Yeah, we've just had the police um, come into sight and arrest Man Amanda for suspicion of breach of bail condition. She's not in breach of bail condition. She lives on this site. You've got no right to arrest me. You've got no right to arrest me. Right, just grab the legs and carry her. She walked. Right, yeah. Look at my dog. You're not using your legs, are you? Amanda, stand up. Get my dog. Stand up, you need to up then. Get my dog off the road. Man, not child behind you. Be careful, mate, yeah? Yeah. Well, what uh, Amanda's just got arrested uh, for um, suspicion of breach of bail conditions. Um, I'm allowed to record this. Yeah, you can record, that's fine. I just don't want you going near her while she's going in the van. Uh, can you pick up? I'll look after that for her, won't you? I'll look after it for her. <laughs> Alright, Z-Ban, um, it's uh, Tigger here. I'm uh, looking after Amanda's phone until she comes out of custody. Um, they're basically, um, as you can see, as you can see, um, they've just plonked her on the floor right there. Excuse me, miss. Shall I take that? Sorry? Shall I take that? No, no, it's, no. it's past no. seven o'clock. Because it's, it's part of someone else's uh, property. She's got it on her while she's been arrested here. Okay. Don't get it all back when it is always going to property. Yeah, hope so. Because if not, you'll be getting done for theft. Amanda, Z Ben says it sends this love. What? Z Ben sends this love. Z Ben Z Ben said he sends this love. Just stand up, mate. Just ask me to 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 stand up, mate.
It's not up to me, yeah. It's, it's not up to you. I'm just asking it's you. It's up to her it's to have yours. her own right no, no, to protest. She can protest, but it's a friend of yours. You can see it's not good for lying on the floor. We're trying to get her to stand up. I've asked her to stand up. Why don't you ask her as a friend of yours? And the convoy ain't even left yet as well, so... <clears throat> uh, there's certainly been complaints about police actions, and I think um, round about 30, uh, I think, formal complaints that we've had. Now, if you bear in mind that when we started the operation, it was late October, early November, uh, typically we'll run four days a week uh, with HGVs going in and out of the site. So that's several thousand HGV movements. On a given day we can have anything between 15 to 100 protesters and a number of police officers. So when you actually look at the number of complaints we've had, and some of the complaints are motivated uh, to take issue with the police, it, it's not an unreasonable number. And certainly we have some complainants who will make repeat complaints. In terms of the allegations, any allegation about police misconduct will treat seriously. Uh, but as yet, um, I, I think it'd be sensible to wait for the outcomes of those investigations so that we work on the basis of the facts and not sensational claims that people make. And in some cases, people with perhaps a vested interest or an issue against the police. Mm -hmm. So you talked about, um, obviously, the police record you know, all the protests and that. You, that footage, is it only, would it only be watched if there had been claims, you know, of, 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 against police actions? Or is it watched through all of it, you know, just to check that everything is... Well, we won't just watch it just to check. Uh, I mean, we've had now uh, 204 arrests. So where we can, every one of those arrests is filmed, as I say, both for evidence, but also to negate any allegations about police behaviour. So certainly, if there's an arrest and it's going to court, then that, that will be watched and reviewed and it'll be used in interviews. If there's an allegation, then clearly we'll identify that footage. I mean, it's possible that something could be alleged to happen not on camera, um, but I think those would be limited cases, really. But only really if it was something where we had cause for concern or a prosecution would we specifically go through that. The other thing to bear in mind is that um, whenever there's police activity down there, there's a full command suite running with commanders who are looking at the footage, um, both anything on the internet, but also our own coverage. So we're fully aware of what's going on. So there's a really high degree of scrutiny about what the police are actually doing down there. Okay. I know you've obviously mentioned there's been a lot of arrests down there. Yeah. Um, I think from what I've seen, a lot of people um, have been claiming it's when they've been arrested that they've injured themselves, sort mm. of when they've been you know, pushed down onto the ground to get their handcuffs on them. And I know I've seen um, pictures of a guy who claims he <coughs> had his eye socket shattered mm. and he does look very bruised and battered. And he says it's as a result of being pushed down on the ground while he's being arrested. Well, interestingly, that person in question hasn't made a complaint to us, so it limits our ability to thoroughly investigate. So he's putting a gentleman into the recovery position. I'm keeping well away. I have no intention of obstructing anything. Are you okay, sir? Any idea where you've been detained? I notice you're put into the recovery position. Are you healthy and well, or have you been injured? Is anything happening about the truck? Fine. I've reported a crime to you, Chief Inspector. Fine, but Chief Inspector, I am moving. How much faster do you want me to walk? I've got a disability in my left leg that your force are more than aware of. I am walking perfectly well. I'm trying to ask you a question. I have reported a crime to you. I've reported a crime to you. Do you intend doing anything about it? I'm speaking to one of your Chief Inspectors. Can I on here? You'll be locked up. Yeah, for speaking to a Chief Inspector. Chief Inspector, a simple answer, please. You're all on video. Stop acting the way you are. You will shame your own police force. Look. Oi, Del Boy! Listen. What are you doing about the truck, right. man? You want to obstruct police, all right? I'm not obstructing any police! Really? Oh. Really? Del Boy, what the hell is this for, man? Why the brutality? Where was I obstructing any police? 
and I'm not fighting back or anything. I have no way There is no requirement for me in law to assist the police in any way. What are you kicking me for? What the hell are you doing up your side? Oh, 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 my oh, 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 but there's no lawful reason to assist police. Is that yours? No, I think we've got to allow us to have one. Was it really necessary on a disabled person? Was it really necessary on a disabled person to kick the legs out of a disabled person? Uh, was it necessary? Yes, I know. Right, if I could try assisting you. One, two, three. <laughs> Was that necessary? Hey, All I did was stood at the side of the road, trying to speak to the yeah, chief yeah. inspector. Really necessary? Yes, yeah, resisting arrest. Resisting arrest? Yes. What was the arrest for? It was three, three of us, right of the bigger lads than you. Adam, can you explain? Three bigger lads than me. Yeah, you might explain, we're not speaking to you anymore. Right, I'll speak to you then. Three bigger lads than me. Go fish and smash my skull on the ground, Sergeant. Sergeant, someone down next six. Constable, six, seven, six, two, seven, nine. Eleven, five, nine, seven. Officer, detaining me. Can I have your number, please? I'm the one detaining you. You're not, you have hands on me. If you're not detaining me, why are your hands on me, officer? I'm entitled to the details of anybody involved. Oh, you're the legal term, aren't you? I'm entitled to... No, I've got a lot more than that. I've got a lot more experience than that. I'm going to be getting receipts for anything to remove it from my body. Seven. Alright, you're making me down. Yeah. Alright, now we're coming. Alright. If somebody in the back office, please, can call GBC and tell them that. And if it's the case, I'm thinking of, yeah, there was some scratching to his face. Um, but in a number of instances we'll see people resisting arrest even passively. So if you're a grown adult and you decide you're not going to be arrested and you just let your weight drop, uh, it makes it difficult for the police officers. We then have to use more police officers because we can't just drag someone down the road by the ankles. We've got, we've got to pick them up. For, it's for their safety. Um, so a number of officers will then go and lift them up. So if someone goes passive but non-compliant then they inevitably will go to the floor because they've got to be managed but that's typically the choice of the person concerned or if the person's been violent or resisting the officer then one of the techniques may be that they may be taken to the floor but the majority of cases, if someone is arrested and then goes with the officers without resisting, then there won't be the need to take them to the floor. So I think it's important to look at each individual case on its merit, look what's happening, look what the person who's been arrested is doing, and then you can make a proper evaluation about how the arrest has been made. So if some people, you know, if it is a necessity to bring someone to the ground, do you have sort of procedures in place to make sure that you do that safely to make sure someone won't smack their head on the floor? Stand there and film that.
Don't push me, officer. I will. Don't push me. Why didn't you ask him? Is ask me, sir. I don't know what you're saying. No one shut up. Right, you no, push me out of the way. No, you push me out of the way. You push me out of the way. You push me out of the way. Officer, could you stand to one side so I can record this, please, sir? We can never guarantee it. Clearly, one of the things that we do and the techniques that the officers use well, wherever they can be Home Office approved techniques. So the officers are trained, they're taught about the safe way both for themselves and the person that they're arrested uh, to try and detain them and arrest them safely. So they will try and work with those techniques wherever they can. But if someone is certainly being violent or if someone's being non-compliant then it gets harder. It gets harder to manage someone as safely as we would possibly like. But in all the circumstances I've seen, the officers have used the minimum force necessary to actually try and affect someone's arrest.